Hello guys and welcome back to Motorsports Review. In today's video, it's going to be a little different. I'm sure you've seen ads stating 0% APR for 84 months or deferred payment options for 120 days. And you're probably thinking, well, why is that? Well, in today's video, I'm going to break down for you and maybe discuss whether or not it's a good idea to buy a car. I'm also going to be stating why that all is and why all these companies offering these things. Uh, but before we get into the video, I would like you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. Also stay safe and make sure you keep good hygiene. Now on to the video. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Okay, now on to the video. But before we start the video, how about I show you what ads I'm talking about? Because at this point, you're probably like, what the hell is this guy talking about? Well, um, right now I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm talking about. When we face adversity, we find a way through it. It's about taking care of each other. It's the small parts that make a big difference. At Chevy, we promise to do ours. We're offering current Chevy owners OnStar Crisis Assist Services and complimentary Wi-Fi data. To help keep you on the road, the Chevy Certified Service Experts are here and ready to help if you require parts, maintenance, or repairs. You can even schedule your service appointments online. It's just our way of doing our part. We're living in uncertain times, but we've all had it tough before. And here at Cadillac, we know that by working together, we'll make it through. That's why GM Financial stands by with relief by offering flexible payment arrangements. And for current owners, we're enabling OnStar Crisis Assist Services and in-vehicle Wi-Fi data. If your vehicle needs service, our certified experts are also ready to help. Simply schedule your appointment online. Because at Cadillac, we have your back. Chrysler wants to help families drive forward. So we're offering your family the same price our family pays. No payments for 90 days plus the ability to shop and buy from the safety of your home. Chrysler, drive forward. Okay, now we're on the same page. Now, ever since we saw a rise in coronavirus cases, businesses have seen a major decline in sales, leaving them to make big decisions. This also includes automotive industries too. Manufacturers such as Ford, General Motors, and the FCA had to shut down their plants due to demands from the United States Auto Workers Union in concerns of the virus affecting employee health. Now, Ford was planning to reopen in two weeks, but that plan is no longer happening. But we could expect uh, auto, auto manufacturers to start assembling ventilators or other needed essentials for manufacturers um, or hospitals, I mean. IHS reported that the automotive sales could drop 1.4 million. Yes, that means 1.4 million cars could, uh, we could see a decrease in 1.4 million cars being assembled, which is like a very big deal. Uh, global sales are predicted to fall 12% while US sales have fallen 15%. So we could see a major decline in manufacturing. Now let's talk about if right now is a good time to buy a car. So really, is it a good time to buy a car? Well, yes and no. If you're financially stable, I would say yes, but there are probably uncertainties that could affect you in the short term. Now, what I would say is wait it out a little. But I should point out that with the low demand and high inventory, you could be able to negotiate the deal you're looking for. You see, right now, for dealership, it's not really about making the most profits, but finding a profit. And that could be the answer why many dealerships are offering so many incentives. They also offer these incentives to protect employees and avoid too much social contact. That's why you can only purchase cars online and even home delivery, which is the best way of staying safe for now. If you're not financially stable, it's not a good idea to buy or even finance a car. So in your best interest, don't buy a car. But I mean, now it seems like there will be dealerships closing soon. 
The reason manufacturers are offering so many options is because they're trying to maintain the company and so they need to offer incentives that could rise the demand for their vehicles. That's how the economy is able to move forward. But that will be all for today's video. Let's see it all play out in the shortcoming. COVID-19 at the end of the day has harmed many people but has also helped the environment. We've seen a decline in CO2 emissions. COVID-19 has helped kill the oil industry for the shortcoming. Thanks to COVID-19, I'm able to spend time with my family and also make many amazing videos on this amazing channel. Even in terrible times, we could see amazing effects. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon. This is Abekit on Motorsports Review. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.